Starbucks is the latest big local company to jump into tomorrow's election with the direction of the Seattle City Council hanging in the balance. Now, Cairo 7's Essex Porter is live in Seattle with how the company is using its signature product to get voters to the polls. Essex? The product is coffee, and Starbucks gave away free coffee at this Starbucks store here in Ballard and a few others around the city. With our coffee, people got these postcards telling them to wake up and vote. Be sure to vote by tomorrow night. Now, it's not the million dollars that Amazon put into the campaign, but still, it could provoke a backlash. Do you like some coffee? All right, well, don't forget tomorrow's election day. On this election eve, Starbucks held wake up and vote events at selected stores around Seattle. We never tell people how to vote or who to vote for, but we want to make sure that our partners, and there are thousands of them in the Puget Sound area, especially here in Seattle with all of our issues, we just want to remind our partners and our customers of their opportunity to vote and have their voice be heard. Starbucks says it has donated $30,000 to the Business Political Action Committee, pushing for a more favorable Seattle City Council. That's far less than Amazon, which donated more than a million dollars. Still, critics see another huge corporation trying to elect a more favorable city Council. Amy Daly Angel is a grocery checker and member of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. Uh, corporations should not be allowed to buy elections. Critics are also suspicious of the letter Kelly sent to employees, pointing out that in some instances, we've had to make difficult decisions to close stores that face too high a risk for partners and customers. And while closing stores remains a last resort, we may need to repeat that approach, given the state of public health and safety in our city. Some folks might think the letter was a little heavy, heavy handed, that it sounded more like a threat. Well, um, I think the letter made very clear that we don't ever tell people how to vote or who to vote for, but that all elections are about change. And if you like the status quo in Seattle, I, I think you just need to take a walk down Third Avenue at any time of day. But could there be a backlash at the ballot box? And how they view Seattle and where they fall in the debate on homelessness and housing will probably be a bigger lead than what you'll see of I'm going to vote against something because of the money. Now, just a block away from that Starbucks, this drop box here next to the Ballard Library, it happens to be the most popular drop box in King County. And with the postcard on the back, there's a map of all the drop boxes in King County. So Starbucks telling folks where you can leave your ballot in your neighborhood. We're tracking the races. Uh, there are still a lot of ballots out there to come in, and we'll let you know how things go tomorrow night. Reporting live in Seattle, Essex Porter, Cairo 7 News. So that